Lalis Edhab, and today I'm going to give a short tutorial on how to code in SPSS, and then we we'll also learn um, some um, SPSS interface. So one might be wondering what SPSS is. So the full meaning of SPSS is um, the statistical package for the social sciences. So the meaning of SPSS, as you've been hearing, is statistical package for the social sciences. So the SPSS software um, is a software package that is used for quantitative data analysis. So you know in an SPSS, anytime you create um, a, a, an information or a data in SPSS, you are basically creating a data set. So SPSS is used to create um, quantitative data analysis so that you can achieve results. So let's open the SPSS and let's see how it's used. So if you already know how to use the SPSS, this is basically what it looks like after you have coded your questionnaires inside. So let's get started by opening a fresh page. So you go to file, new, and then data. Okay, so this is the interface of SPSS. And then one thing you should also know is SPSS has um, four views. So we have the data view or the data editor. We have the output view. We have the chart editor. And then we have the syntax editor. So the data editor is basically where you input your information, and your variables so in that we have the data view and your variable view so your variable view is where you are going to input all your questionnaires so the questionnaires you have created with possible answers you are going to input everything in your data view and for your response the response to the questionnaires you have will be in your data view so we have the questions in your variable view and your response in your data view and then we also have the output view so the output view is basically when you run your analysis and um, it displays the output view so let's say from the data i already have from this data if i should generate a result out of this, the results I end up getting will be my output view. So we are going to leave that for another time and then how to just code our information in SPSS. So we also have the chart editor. So the chart editor is where you create graphs, bar charts, and tables in SPSS. So sometimes you have to create automatically, you have to create manually your graphs and everything in MS Word or Excel, but in SPSS, it creates it automatically for you based on the data you have. And then we also have the syntax editor. So the syntax editor is basically for programming. So those who are um, good in programming or those who know how to program uh, are and familiar with this too. However, we are not going to go much into the syntax programming because we are not programmers. So to get started, as we stated earlier, we said the data viewers, the data editor is basically composed of the data view and the variable view. So we have some questions here. Um, these are some questions I have. So let's say we are going to use um, these questions. So this is your questionnaire. And on your questionnaire, you have your questions with a closed um, question. So closed question is basically where you provide answers and your respondent or your... Um, your respondent or your participant has to just choose from the list of answers you have. So the first question is, 
how old are you? And then the possible answers are 0 to 10, 11 to 20, and then 21 to 30. So in your SPSS, we are going to code this in our variable view. So remember, the variable view is where you input your questions. So the name section, we have the name, the type, the width, the decimal, missing, and row. So the name section is just going to assign a phrase to the question we have here. And then there are some rules we are going to learn. So rule number one for the name section is we do not um, start with a number. So in your name section, do not start with a number. So don't start by numbering one, zero, then you type. We do not start with a number. Anytime you start with a number, you see what is going to give you. Variable name contains an illegal first character. And then another rule is also um, the character space is not allowed. So it should not leave space within the characters. So let's say you want to type boy. Then you leave space boy. When you move, it's going to tell you variable name contains an illegal character. So these are some of the rules you should note in your name section. So for our question, let's go back to our question. The question is, how old are you? So how old are you is basically talking about age. So you can just represent here with age. Age. So the age is just a phrase to represent the question we have here, how old are you? So the next thing we do is to assign a type. So are we going to use numeric? Are we going to use numbers? Sorry, are we going to use string, dot, restricted, or what have you? So the reason why sometimes um, we use numeric is probably when you want to find the correlation or you want to perform a chi-square test between your in your data set so your question is you want to find a correlation or regression or you want to perform a chi-square you want to perform an ANOVA analysis that is when we use the numeric and then there is also an advantage in using the numeric and it also has its own disadvantage so in a situation whereby you want to use descriptive um, features you can probably go in for the strings so we use the numeric and we use the width so the width is just the size of um, the cell you want to input your data so you can leave it as such and then we have the decimals so the decimals is just how you want your numeric or numbers to be like so if you want it in zero decimals it will just come as a single number so one if it's in two decimals it will come as 1.2 three decimals and one one point two that is what it means so we can take it to just zero and the label so the label section is where you type in your full question so the question we have here how old are you so at this section we type in everything so we can say how old are you? And a question mark. You can shift it. How old are you? And then we assign values. So this is the most important section. So the values for, for your possible answers, we have a 0 to 10, B 11 to 20, C 21 to 30, and D 30 and above. So for your um, value label, your value, so for possible answer A, you say 1, and your label was from 0 to 10. Then you click on the app sign here, and then you continue option 2 so 11 to 20 then you just click on add then 3 21 
to 30. Click on add, then label four, value four. Then we have 31 and above. Then you click on add. So this is basically what um, we mean by coding in SPSS. So it's like you are assigning values to what you have here. So we see we have A, A is 0 to 10, B is 11 to 20, 21 to 30, and 31 and above. So it's just the same thing we want to do here. So our value A, instead of using A, we use 1, 2, 3, and 4. So after you are done, then you click on OK. So the next one is missing. So if you have no missing values, you can just click on no missing values. But if you want to input a missing value, then you input a missing value. So you see sometimes in your um, questionnaires, you have um, things like others. So we have others. So the others is basically you assigning a meaning to what you think the others is. So let's say for a question like this, what is your gender? So we have a possible answer like, okay, so we can use this question. So what is your educational background? So we have certificate, diploma, degree, masters, or others. So in your others, maybe you can say not educated, and then you can say probably either not educated or um, excuse me to say an illiterate. So you represent it with numbers as you wish. So your discrete missing value, you should use a number not, you should use the number different from what you have already used here. So probably you can use 99 or you can say 98 as not educated. And let's say you can use um, 99 as um, illiterate and let's say you can use um, 100 as um, an emeritus professor so that is what it means so the column you can leave everything as you want you can either send it to a line right a line left a line center or what have you and then we have the skill so we have types of skill we have um, we have the skill we have the measure, sorry, for the measure, we have the scale, we have the ordinal and the nominal. So the nominal is basically just um, uh, alphabetical or mathematical. They are not um, mathematical nor ordinal. So they can be performed, so they cannot be performed here. So they are just data on your own. So they are not uh, mathematical data or they are not ordinal data. They are just nominal data, anything you want. And then we have the no ordinal measure. So the ordinal measure is basically in a form of a variable that is rank, so in order. So this is where you have your first, second, third, and then your fourth. And then we have the scale or we have the, um, the ratio or the interval. You know, we call them skill. So anytime you combine the ratio or interval, we call them skill. So they are mathematical skill that can be performed on a data. So here, since it's either um, 0 to 1, it's an order. So use an ordinal data. And you can leave the input as it is. So the next thing you want to do is to type in your next question. So um, let's do that. So the next question is, what is your gender? So in our SPSS, let's represent this with um, gender, then numeric, so what is your gender? Then you start the coding process. So we have A, male, and then two, S, female. So 
So since there is no missing data, you leave it as such. So you are going to follow this process till you achieve, um, till you complete the questionnaires you have. So after successfully completing your questionnaires, you are going to get something like this. So you have your age, gender, you have your work, you have your education. So they are all phrases um, that have been summarized here. So they are all phrases. So you are going to perform everything and this is how the coding is going to look like. So this is how the coding and everything is going to look like. So without wasting time, when you go to your data view, so the data view is basically um, where you have, where you are going to assign your response. So let's say on your question, the person chose, um, how old are you? The person chose A. And then for gender, the person chose B. So since you know age, the person chose 1, A, you present it at 1, then you move to the other one. So you see, because I chose it, it came there to the age, then gender, so 1. That is how it's going to come. to female so you see anytime you do it as such so you see 11 to 15 so let's choose four so you see this is how it's going to appear so if i should choose one again one so let's say here i also choose one Then three, so there's no three, so it's going to be invalid. So one, male, two, four, five. There's no input as five, so let's use four. So you are going to continue like that in a situation whereby you have your questionnaires filled. But we are going to leave this stage for now and continue another time. So this is basically how to code your questionnaires in SPSS. So after that, you can just come to file, then click on save as, and then save your, your data nicely. So guys, thank you very much for watching this short tutorial. I hope it is of benefit to you. So in our next video, we are going to learn how to analyze um, our quantitative data to get results like the correlation, the chi-square, the ANOVA, the t-test, and the various um, statistical tests we have. So thank you for watching this video and kindly subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.